Hello everyone, I'm Reno Cabral at systemrecipes.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure NIC teaming. NIC teaming is a cool feature which has been introduced in Server 2012. NIC teaming can be used for fault tolerance as well as load balancing. Uh, to configure NIC teaming, if you just go to your server manager, if you then just click on local server, in the local server you can see all your network interface cards connected. I've got NIC1, NIC2 and NIC3. I haven't assigned any IP addresses to these NICs. You can have up to 32 network interface cards. As you see over here, NIC teaming by default has been disabled. To enable NIC teaming, if you just click on disabled, it will then pop up this window for you for NIC teaming. On the bottom right hand side, you can see all your network interface cards. And on the left hand side, you can see all your teams. For now, I haven't created any team. So to create a team, if you just click on tasks, and then if you just click new team, you can then name the team. I'll name it as team one. Okay. You can then select the NICs that you would like to include into the team. I'll select all three. At the bottom, you've got additional properties that you can configure. If you just click on that, the first option is teaming mode. Under teaming mode, you've got three options out of which you can select one. The first one is static teaming. Static teaming is when you have all your NICs connected to one switch. The downside of this is if the switch fails, all your NICs fail as well. Okay, the second option is switch independent, wherein all your NICs are connected to different switches. So if one of the switch fails, other two network cards will be still connected because they're connected to a different switch. So this doesn't just provide you fault tolerance at the NIC level, but also at the switch level. Okay, the third option over here is LACP. LACP stands for Link Aggregation Control Protocol. You can't really configure much uh, over here with LACP because the only place that you configure it is on the physical switch. For this demonstration, I'll just select switch independent. The second option over here is load balancing mode. Under load balancing mode, you've got three other options out of which you can select one. The first one is address hash. In address hash, you can use one NIC to handle all your inbound traffic, whereas all of your other NICs will be handling your outbound traffic. You can use this for any server that has very little inbound traffic because you've got just one NIC that will be handling your inbound traffic. So you can use this for a web server or for some sort of download server, something like that. The second option over here is Hyper-V port. You can use Hyper-V port for a Hyper-V server wherein you've got multiple VMs running and you can specify one VM, say for example VM1, push all it's inbound as well as outbound traffic to particular NIC, say for example NIC1. So NIC1 will be used by VM1 for all its inbound as well as outbound traffic. The third option is dynamic and dynamic is a mixture of both address hash as well as Hyper-V port. So I'll select dynamic. The third option is a standby adapter. You can select one of the adapters as a standby, which will mean if I select NIC1, NIC1 will not be in use. Um, it will be only on a standby mode. So when NIC, either NIC2 or NIC3 fails, NIC1 will replace that NIC. The last option over here, the primary team interface, over here you can select um, VLANs and stuff like that, okay? So, teaming mode, I've selected switch independent. Load balancing mode, I've selected dynamic. Standby adapter, I've selected NIC1 click OK. It will then create the team. NIC team has been created. NIC team 1 status OK and it gives you all the information. As you see on the right hand side NIC 2 and 3 are active and NIC 1 is on standby. OK so if you just close NIC teaming window and go back to your server manager you can see that NIC team and now the next thing that we need to do is assign an IP address to the team. Do that if you just click on the NIC team. And then you can't assign IP address to the individual NIC cards, but you can assign an IP address to the team. Okay, so if you go to properties, 
and then assign an IP address. So you see over here I've assigned the IP address and click OK. Click close and that's it. Nick teaming has been configured. You can if you just go to command prompt and just do an IP config it doesn't show you all your network interface cards but it would show you the NIC team and the IP address that we have assigned so all those three network interface cards they work as one so one of them fail you got a standby network interface card that will take over I hope this video has been useful if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel for more future videos. Thanks for watching.